Okay, this is a uh, AP more? Physics project that we were working on, and we just finished um, all the solder work. And everything all worked. We've got four motors here, um, two Kinex motors that we cut the heads off of, and then these are both high torque motors that run at six RPM. And right here we've got uh, the connections. We're working on we're, we're crossing connections. So. And these are um, so relays. relays yep. This relay here is just a heavy duty plug-in relay that we kind of hijacked to use for the uh, torque motor. Um, this relay and this relay are just standard DB, DP, DT relays. And of course you got batteries. Uh, this is a uh, control chip control. with lots of switches and stuff. Yeah. Basically, it runs doing what we're doing manually, it does on a computer program. It runs on basic. It runs on basic. basic. And then we've got a light switch over here for debugging. Yep. Um, Turn off the soldering iron. So, we're just going to show that everything works. We're going to cross the terminals. So, cross one, one and two. Sorry, it's the first motor. One, do it again. Come on. There we go. One and two crosses. That's good. And then three and four, we'll do a relay. That clicking noise is a relay that is for this motor here. For motor one. It's really then a one of the torque motors. Five and six will start that motor one over there. This one is crossing five and six for this torque motor. Right. And so then you eight. cross seven and eight. Cross, so relay. It does the big relay. And it's shocking my hand. That's why you hold it on the electric. Screw you. Stupid. Okay. And then the next one will be the this motor here. It is kind of crazy. Um, the next, the next one will be another relay for that motor. For that motor, and then this last one, this which last one he has to goes cross because because these are odd numbers. Poor planning, but whatever. And it'll turn this one. And it does not want to connect. Quit being a failure. There, there we go. go. And then the next two don't do anything. The next two are opens. And then we have four for inputs. Four inputs. And um, the light switch there is for debugging so we can get the torque motors lined up correctly. Um, and then the, we um, have a, let's see, we've got 17 and 18. Where are the 17 and 18? Here's 18. Where's 17? 17 is, should be right here. It's somewhere along here. Should be this one. No, nope. mm, that's 19. That's 17. 17, 18. 18. Um, these will. We, we're going to wire these up to a momentary switch, and that's what will start the programming that's on the control chip. So, yeah, this is pretty pretty ridiculous. Um, we're building this for a Rube Goldberg machine for AP Physics class, and it's going to be pretty Rubik's much Cube. all connects, and it ends up doing a soon on a Rubik's Cube because we're just that awesome. Yeah. So, um, I guess we'll have updates later whenever we have something that's video worthy. Uh, we also just want to show that we can change directions. So he's going to cross pins 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. One cross and 1 and 2 first. That'll start the motor. This will start this motor here. Go motor. Cross it. Okay. Turning counterclockwise. Now he's going to cross the uh, relay, which will make a clicking sound. It's one of these. You hear the clicking? Now he's going to cross both, and it should spin clockwise. Watch the. Right. Just one and two. Watch the yellow pin. Come on, go. All right, this is going one way. And then it should be going the other way. There we go. Change direction for us a little bit. There we go. Now it's going clockwise. So that that was clock, counterclockwise. So basically, it will default to going counterclockwise, and then when we want it to go clockwise, we just hit the one of the relays, which will be controlled by this chip. So now that's all we have.